Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 18 of We Happy Few. A lot happened last episode, we investigated a lot, and now it's time to report back what we found out to Mrs. Oliphant from the newspaper. So, let's see how far away this is. What is statue that you are not authorized Please oh whoa. clear the area immediately what is this place oh well so is this another downer detector maybe i'll just take a look at the map so where are we exactly oh well we just ran through the whole city underground yeah well we did make a lot of way Especially with all the jubilator rides and all, so... Okay, then I guess we'll have to walk. So this is Grass Market Park. But we're not allowed to pass. But we're allowed to sprint now because no one cares, so we should... Please step away immediately. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Oh well, so I'm just gonna... No, oh, I'm walking in the wrong direction again. Okay, so I'll just going... I'm just gonna walk back to the current real quick. Okay, here we are. Well, it was a long walk and in the meantime I realized I still wore my gas mask for a really long time so I took it off and also I changed back into the normal clothes. Although no one really cared that I was a worker. So let's talk to... Should clear up soon I imagine. You know, I think someone's looking for you. Really? What? That was scary. I remember scary. when they came back from London. Mum wouldn't stop crying for a week. But all Percy could talk about was a train. Okay. Well, I'll just walk in. That was a strange encounter. So can we just pass right now? Oh, he's still lying there. No. Oh god. This no. doesn't look very healthy, but. I didn't put him in that shape. Well, he looks a little bit scared, but the rest are still drinking coffee, so... Oh my god! Someone's dead! He's not dead, he's just sleeping. At least I just put him to sleep. I don't know what happened after that since he's so... weirdly lying around. Okay, well, let's find out what to do next. Terribly busy. What is it? Jeb has been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a popper. Oh my goodness. Why? But she was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my. That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution that doesn't sound ominous at all well, that's sort of exactly what i thought if i had a press pass i could get into hayworth labs and my old adulator if you still got it after what happened to Gemma, dr verloc he's sort of his own law there i have some personal business there if i'm not here when you get back if you found something out, see if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great! I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. Oh no. So I think Mrs. Oliphant is scared for her life. At least she just hinted that. Oh, poor lady. Okay, well I... But, I guess we got what we came for and now we should be able to enter... The lab. Uh, I'm really scared. What are we going to find there? Oh well. 
Also, what I didn't mention the last time that we saw Mrs. Oliphant, she looks a lot like Dr. Faraday, but I think a lot of people look alike here. I think all the, the all those lovely old ladies, they look the same too. So, I think I'm going to fast travel to our hideout to drop off some, st some stuff because yeah, we are going to find a lot of stuff in Haver's Labs, I can imagine. So I should probably make some space in my inventory. And what's this? No time to be friendly and adulator will do it for you. Greets people for you. Has a cool down period between greetings. So how do I equip this? It's on our head? Well, this looks weird. Well, but it's a quest item. Okay, well, maybe we will have to equip it later on. But we also have a lot of skill points okay so i think i'm going to now that we have a lot of points to spend i'm going to increase our health which i neglected a lot before this is eight and this would be ten so what's this a well-timed block with a weapon can knock your enemy down this wouldn't be too bad either because i block a lot i think I think I'm gonna go with this, because why not? So, I don't know if this will help us a lot, but I think this sounds really good to do more damage hitting people. I mean, this doesn't sound too bad too, so maybe we need to invest in this first so we can get to those. Although this doesn't sound like too much, because we don't fight a lot with our fists. Although, maybe I do, but not because I want to. So yeah, let's just do this. Okay. Oh well. Um, so I'm gonna go real quick to our hideout. More interesting things you smell when you barely see. Hmm. Okay, so yeah. Like I said, I'm going to drop off some stuff. Then I will go directly to the Haberth Laboratory. And I will see you then. Okay, here we are, back at Haverth Labs. This place still looks really creepy. And also the smear of blood on the floor and in the entrance didn't look too inviting either, but I guess now we're going to find out what happens in there. First I'm going to drink. Ah, oh, I should have gone to sleep for when I was at the hideout. Oh well. So, as you see, I dropped off a lot of stuff. I also realized clothes are weighing a lot, but I didn't want to leave them behind because, I don't know, it's really spontaneous that, uh, that, we, that we have to change clothes or that it's better if we change clothes. So I want to keep them with me, even though they're heavier done a lot of stuff but okay here we go here to see the doctor he does love to be in the papers and right on in oh wow that was the easy was on lockdown they don't listen anymore well you certainly laid out a convincing argument are you saying i hit him too hard i don't know is he breathing well he made a sort of sigh and then some gurgling noises he came right at me. Just make sure you leave that electro baton near him. In case he turns out to be important. I've learned so much from you over the years. Oh well. Bringing joy to the world since 1953. So they captured someone before. Maybe that's his blood over there on the floor. Couldn't be better, thanks. All right. Okay, so there is no... Okay, well... They are... There you are! Right as rain, sir! Right as rain! Okay, so I don't think that there is a chance that we get in there. Though it would be really nice to know what's going on. Hello there. Nothing to see here. So, ah, oh, new Strawberry Joy. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger all! 
I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of... Uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? Well, it certainly sounds ominous. What's this? To all employees, we've had a wee accident. The constable's here to help us. Please cooperate by carrying your ID at all times, as they don't know who's who. Okay, so what happened here? I'm really scared what I'm about to see. Oh well. I'm not sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press pulse as the bobbies did. So why are we here? I mean I was I was supposed to follow a brown line. Am I supposed to be here or did the elevator just break down? There is no brown line to follow. How am I so Hmm. What a nice sculpture. So I'll just have to pass this, I guess. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. I'm here. Okay. Sure. Clean worker is a keen worker. Oh, maybe I'll get some clothes here. Okay, I'll need to get there, but maybe first... Oh, there's a rubber duck. I have enough of those. So is there some clothes that I can take? What's in here? Oh, well. Oh, wait. I don't want to have this. I need to drop this. is just heavy. So... Hmm. hmm. Okay, what's in... What does this say? To all employees from Alice Little. Alice Little? While we all enjoy a good laugh, pranks in the employee lounge have gotten out of hand. Today, Roger became quite alarmed that his tea time macaroon had made him shrink after several employees remarked that he seemed to be getting smaller. In fact, some person or persons unknown went to the trouble of replacing his uniform with an identical but larger one. Valuable work time was wasted by this tomfoolery. In future, kindly confine your pranks to your off hours, Alice. Someone hasn't had their joy today. <laughs> Oh, okay, so also in this lab, the people allow themselves to have some fun. I think this is maybe another easter egg, or maybe I'm interpreting too much into this, but Alice Little is also... I never read Alice in Wonderland, but I played Alice Madness Returns, as I talked about before, and I think Alice was named Alice Little and then, and I think eating tea, or uh, eating cake, makes you, also made you shrink in Alice in Wonderland, didn't it? Or, no, I think cake made you... Cake made you bigger. Yes. And I think something to drink made you shrink. But I think this is a little bit of a, re of a reference to Alice in Wonderland. So, suggestion of the month. Chocolate covered strawberry joy for Valentine's. Well, if you don't have real strawberries, then why not take strawberry joy instead? Ugh, that sounds ugly. Okay, there is no clothes to wear. Would it be easier if I just wore those workers' clothes, or...? Okay, Mind well, let's... the closing doors, please. Let's please just stand see. by for decontamination. Okay. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Oh well, let's see. Well, this certainly looks chaotic. 
find out what happened here. Maybe Do there's a lot to read as well. Turn down the heat on the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the explosive threshold temperature. Never mind. Just grab the temperature curve and pop it in the pneumatic. Oh, and I want samples of any residue on the explosive debris. So what is he doing? This looks very hot. Oh no! Oops! Shouldn't have walked too close to him. Oh well. Just kill him. Whew. Oh no. Don't want to kill him. Cheer up, you bastard! Ow! He's shocking me, so I'm gonna shock him back. Yeah, that's right. I've always liked you, actually. He didn't. So, can I take his clothes? I guess not. It never was possible, so. But I would like another electric truncheon, so I'm gonna take it. Can we go past this or not? I think not, but there's nothing to press here. So maybe we need to... Oh. What is he hammering at? There's nothing here. Okay, so everyone's just running around in circles and panicking. Lady crying. Okay, I think I'm just gonna. That door looks rather oh. sturdy. Oh, a way around I it. didn't want to, I'm sorry. But hey, they should just be unconscious. Or I will be dead soon. Okay. I need some medicine. Very good. So... Is there someone else here? This guy up there? So, what do you have on you? No. Oops, wrong button. So, how do I open this door? Bigger banger. Let's take this too. So how do I open this door? Find a way past the sealed door. Maybe I need to climb something? Can I go up here? No, I can't, right? I mean, that's too high. Where did you go? Is it something else? Oh, maybe this way. Okay, through the vents. So I don't know what those fumes are. They can't be too healthy. Oh, it changes directions. Okay. Ah, here we are. So this time I'm going to do it more. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Will he walk back? Yes. I'm gonna do a quiet takedown this time. Just relax. Don't question it. Yes, don't question it. Okay. Another axe. It's also good to have. Oh no. I'm not gonna take the use gas mask again. So, what's going on here? There's another one almost burning. Maybe I can sneak past him. Oh well, there. Are Okay. Okay, so he doesn't really seem to care about us. Maybe if we sneak behind him? Oh well, let's just take him down for safety. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
I think it would be safer if you're uncon- Oh, that's a pipe. I thought he had this, some clown nose or something. Work is Whoops. safety. <laughs> Whoa. Please just lie down. This is a little bit like... Oops. This is a little bit like the sewers all over again. Everyone's... I don't know. Going insane? Or going, getting careless? So, do I have to get upstairs? Maybe there's a valve up here. Ah, there's someone else. Okay. No! What? Yes. I don't even want to be here. Ah, oh, no, I don't want to search. I wonder which one of these guys holds the steam. Or do they both? Well, it's just turn both of them and find out. So Shibble was turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. Yeah, actually we're helping have her collapse, so... Hmm. Apparently we couldn't save him. That's too bad. Okay. A little bit of a jump section. Ow! What? Next time I come down. Oh no, that's... Ah, okay, the steam froze a lot. Nice. Well, I thought this was going to be easy. Ah, okay, so we have to wait until this turns off. So we can jump over there. And now we can jump over there. Now I'm going to eat something first. Because I am a little bit low on energy. So, what are we going to eat? Definitely not the strange meat. Oh, but some pie, why not? Why didn't that help our... Hunger. Really? This gave us more health. Well, thanks, I guess. Well, then I'm going to stick with blue currants. Did I just drop them? Oh, no. No! Come back here! Oh, I used the wrong button. Now I get it. Oh, well. <laughs> ah, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed G instead of F. I was wondering, why is it going so quick? Come on. Yes. No! Come on, come on, come on! Okay. So, but now? Um... Did I miss something? <laughs> Can I... Oh! Okay, I see. I think we need to go over there. Okay, why didn't I make that jump on our altar? Oh, God. This is like our second safe house all over again. Ah, there's a button. Okay, so the steam is off now too? No, it's not. Okay, can I make this jump now? Yes, thank you. So, what's going on here? I don't know. I don't know if we should have closed that door, but why not? Brick, I don't need that. Lockpick is good. I don't need scotch either. Maybe nothing to see here. A fuss. I doubt that there's nothing to see here. If you put those signs up, there's definitely something to see. Well, you know, if we get too heavy, I know what to drop first, but those electric truncheons are useful. So, what two gens were we talking about? These two? Okay, so they seem, they don't seem to see us here. Oh, okay. 
this is where we needed to go. I guess this is the latest test formula. Ooh. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. A permanent solution. Drove the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. Oh, no. Okay, I think I'm... <sighs> Pressed the wrong button again. Okay, I think I'm going to want to read first. Oh, wow. We gathered a lot of documents so far. Test of A329 to Dr. Verloc from Ronald Norrish. We have had mixed results with our first test of A329. The subject, Vanessa Tinkerbell, came to us presenting downer symptoms of melancholy and unpleasant memories. We are pleased to report that this is no longer the case. There has been side effects, however. Tinkerbell was formerly one of the village's foremost intellectuals. She now has difficulty with basic cognitive functions and exhibits obsessive behaviors. E.g. she runs around herself clapping her hands and seems to believe she can fly. Recommendation, further research on A329 required. At a minimum, it should only be used on the most severe downer cases. So Tinker Bell believes she can fly. <laughs> and toasted chicory, no, but I think I'm gonna take the apple. Um, so, there's nothing more to see here. Did they see us? I feel rather brilliant right now. Okay, why did we just turn to here? What what's happening? <laughs> so okay, we need to go into this direction because there is an elevator apparently. Okay, okay, but we have to pass through here. So does he turn away at some point? I think he walks back. Yes, he does. Oh no. Ah, oh, well. Oh! Snug is a bug on a drug. Oh, this is joy fume. Oops. Okay, definitely gonna wear the gas mask again. Sorry. Oops. Okay, I think I'm going to take him down first. Oh, no, person. Why do you have to turn around? And don't throw that brick at me. You did. I didn't realize. No, 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 no. Don't come looking for me now. Just keep walking and I'll take you out. Yes. Thank you. Oof. Well, I'm already really bad on health again. So let's take another healing bomb. Ugh. Okay. I think I'm gonna take off the mask again, so I won't be suspicious. Let's take another elevator. So I don't know where we got sent to this time. But I think that this is not where we were supposed to go. Oh well, I think we're in management. Funny. So I remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally. And it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? I do not know either, but I hope that this is not foreshadowing something. So, what's in here? Can I go there? Oh. 
Oh, this is a workbench. Why is there a workbench here? <laughs> oh no. I think there's some boss battle thing happening soon. Definitely we're gonna need the shock grenade, I guess. Ooh, some power cells. Take those two. And some metal tubes. So, oh, there's a document. The A12 formula. Christ, Sally was in on the scheme. No, wait. She's being very nice about it, but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, as I thought. Darling, I took a peek at your new A12 formula, as you ask. So brill of you to look for a permanent solution, given the, sto given the shortages of supplies. Your plan to jam people's emotions on happy is quite daring. However, I have some teeny tiny concerns. A12 would be a bit like a lobotomy, wouldn't it? A patient would lose his melancholy, but also many higher brain functions. Yes, yes, I know, you'll say I sound like Harry Habert with his brain talk, but do bear with me. You already complain this town is full of blithering idiots. Do we really want to reduce everyone to the intelligence of a gerbil? Just a thought. Love, Miss Boyle. The salamander seems to think Locke's solution is a tad rash. Well, it's alarming, given what she considers reasonably cautious. I guess this was from a time where Sally wasn't really that much on board with everything that Verloc does. Okay. So, what do we have here that we could craft? Is there something that we could need? I don't know. I don't think I do. I think I have a lot. I think I'm very well equipped now. Okay, so what's over here? It's another office. Well, it's definitely the winning argument. Oh, is this a, an, an improvement to the lead pipe? I'm gonna take it. Ah, oh, and there's another chemistry set in the first aid kit. Guess we will need it. What's this? Research. I can keep pressing the wrong buttons again. So, to General Bing from Harry Howarth, General, I must inform you that despite the initial success of our joy program, our supplies of the necessary ingredients will run out. Not necessarily soon, but sooner or later. At least unless the political situation changes and we can once again import them. May I suggest that we begin a secondary line of research? I've read some intriguing phrenology studies that suggest the true source of happiness lies in physical manipulation of the brain. Perhaps we should use the breather we've given ourselves to pursue an electronic approach please advise okay so the ingredients for joy are running low and so they want to tamper with people's brains directly so they don't have to take joy anymore that sounds horrifying Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here who says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. Oh. I am full of the fury of the Lord. And Whoa. I'm right weary with holding back. What? 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 Okay, I think I'm going to need a gas mask again. What is happening here? Uh, I think I'm also going to need a more lethal weapon than the shock baton. Although maybe it's good to shock him first. Although maybe it's a good thing to have the winning argument. So, what the hell? Okay, why haven't I equipped it? Uh. Oh no. Tormented with fire oh, and no. sulfur in the presence of the Lamb. 
The Lord judgeth thee, and he is angry every day. Oh no. You shall be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the Lamb. Okay, okay, this is going good so far. I think I... The Lord made a lot of damage with charged up shots. Every day. Charged up hits. So what's going on with you, crazy guy? I think I want to have your weapon when you're done. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger. Ooh. Oh well. We see the violence inherent in the system. Hey, I want to have this weapon of yours. Where is it? It's just normal lead pipe. Oh well. Let's disarm the traps first. Now I can take off my gas mask again. Oh well. That was exciting. So, is there something else to see here? Something else to pick up? I think not. Take the short spike back. Okay, so I think that's all there is. Whew! Well, this doesn't look fine at all in here. I asked for a full battery of tests done on the latest Isima. Now, where is it? Why is it not in the pneumatic? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Pankhurst's bridge club. They'll do a better job than you people. Okay. Oh, well. Alistair Crutchley. Okay, I took off the mask too early. I think we'll need it again here. Oh. office and it seems to be this way so I would like to know are there any more documents lying around here so mm. oh okay I need to power them again oh wait I think I'm gonna equip my truncheon again oh this one's broken already so I can drop this I don't think I need to be happy. So, where's everyone? Oh. I think I can have an advantage on you. Ouch! Oh no. There you are. Ouch! Oh no. I didn't see that I was in such a bad shape. Yeah, you're bringing me down too. No one's asking about that. Let's, let's use the first aid kit. Okay. Well, it's for knocking down my blocks in kindergarten. Okay, he didn't realize oh, that, so... Okay. There's someone standing too, who didn't realize that we were fighting. Yes. Hey, look the other way again, please. Yes, that's good. That's good. Please don't struggle. Okay. Well, let's go and find Havertz. 
a very complicated way to your office. Science of phrenology. Okay, fancy. Phrenology? Was that supposed to be ironic? Oh wow, okay, so they're displaying brains of different people, like murderer, an imbecile, a pickpocket, and two lady novelists. Is this implying that the brains float differently, or...? I don't know. Hmm, maybe he will tell us a little bit more about it. Who are these guys? Oof. Oh well. Sergeant! Sergeant! Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted. This is the mm. cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. Well, he's just the sort who would. Oh well. This went great. What's this? Silver lock from Penelope Snack. We already did. We already read this. Is this the same as we found in the sewers? I think? Well, Hello. what's this about a secret house, lab? Okay, I think I'm gonna oil. look around here a little bit more, see if there's... Oh, what's this? It's a book. You no longer need a chemistry lab to formulate basic chemicals. That sounds good. This is just... Okay. Is there something else lying around here? Yes. Chemical answer. So, what does this tell us? To Dr. Harry Haber from General Bing. Dear sir, as you know, our citizens have become dispirited due to some unfortunate incidents during the war. I believe your laboratory could be of service in restoring morale. On examining the German camp, we discovered that German soldiers were given fatigue pills that contained amphetamines and opioids, which contributed greatly to their esprit de corps. It turns out that's how their men were able to punch through our lines again and again. We were wondering how it was they never seemed to sleep. I believe the answer to our problems may be chemical. I believe you might be the hero we need now. I am aware that this will inconvenience your own research, but as that other great Napoleon fighter said, England expects that every man will do his duty. So the order came from General Bing to create a drug that made people happy. Or at least not dispirited. Oh, yes, it's another. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this one first. Ah, wrong button again. It's not my day. 
So, dear Dr. Verloc, thank you so much for showing me your laboratory when I visited with Mr. Adams. As you can imagine, it was very exciting for a girl from a small chemist's shop. I myself have been training to become a chemist and have learned pretty much everything Mr. Adams has to teach me. I wonder if I might come by your laboratory sometime to ask you about more advanced chemistry questions. It would be such a privilege to learn from a really advanced scientist. Sincerely, Sally Boyle. So, was this the first contact I made? Oh, it's memory. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Okay. Wow, okay, now wait a second. At first, when Percy was still here, Arthur and Sa Arthur was peeking at Sally's window, but Arthur thought that Sally was an idiot until after Percy was gone and until she came to live with them. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? I wonder too. Some nice music. Ah, I need to take off the mask again. Yes. What is this? Very plantagenic. Oh wow, okay, so these are tests. Oh! Oh wow, these are test facilities that Verloc did on his own? Oh, phew. Bit new caretaker threw meal on the floor, ordered nurse to clean it. Thank God saved the king until he was tranquilized, still refuses to bathe without his most trusted valet. Spat, terrible fit, but two nurses restrained on bed. Spat, threatened beheading unless someone blew on hot porridge. Semi lucid dosage increased, perhaps too extreme. Concern, re lack of appetite, often falls asleep during meals. Barmy thinks he's the rightful king of England. Bites. Free permission to restrain or tranquilize at caregiver's discretion. What happens if I press those buttons? The king of X! The king of X! The king of X! Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if you press the button, it brings some joy on here. Oh, well. Harry Havard. Harry Haverth? That's... What? Yelling fit issued multiple colorful death threats, struck the nurse again, attempted suicide via banging head against the wall. Very aggro, especially in presence of Dr. Verloc. Special privileges include one extra biscuit at tea time, do not include promenades. He has fooled the staff before, have your wits about you. No. Oh no. I'm sorry. Oh no. I... So is this the Dr. Havers that found Havers Labs? Damn it, I thought if I pressed the button I could talk to him. Oh, okay, so this one broke out. Gemma Olsen! Asked after mother's welfare, will up dose 200 milligram. Attempted to bribe caretaker with sexual favors, meals denied as punishment. Violent sobbing, sobbing, vomiting, refusal to speak. Report delusional, claims Wellington Wells about to collapse, recommend lobotomy, deliberate attempts to sabotage scientific data, extremely manipulative, multiple attempts to escape. Wait. So these are a lot of 
days that she spent here. Did Gemma break out? I mean, there did have a So this was this was a few weeks noted here. And I think we just saw Gemma yesterday, didn't we? I don't understand. Did Gemma break out? And that's when we met her? This is getting more and more confusing. Dr. Havard. To General Bing from Anton Verloc, I hope you will not think a mere research chemist is out of line in contacting you, but I am frankly concerned about Dr. Havard. Despite Joy's great success, he has begun allocating resources towards his study of phrenology, a laughably discredited 19th century pseudoscience. Indeed, he talks of little else when he thinks no one can hear him. I am not suggesting he's actually sabotaging the factory. The recent shortages are the result of mix-ups that anyone could have made, but I know you share my concern about the importance of our work to Wellington Wells, and he won't listen to me or anybody else. What do you recommend we do? So Verloc threw Haverth under the bus because... Oh, here's the cod liver oil. And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. What's in here? Although, I mean, I do have to say thank you to Sally because she... She put us on a track that I guess we wouldn't have experienced before. I think we we never we would have never went to the underground. Let's pick another desk and probably get disappointed again because there's nothing in it. As it always is. Oh, an empty pill bottle. Okay, I'll take it. Oh well. I'm a little bit confused about this whole Gemma thing. I, I don't know, maybe I just don't understand it. Maybe I'm missing something. New secretary recommendations. To the new secretary, I hope you have better success in this job than I did. You should know that Dr. V is most insistent that all traces of a certain woman be expunged from the laboratory. If you ask me, she who must not be named was the brains behind this whole operation. It hasn't been the same since she left. Dr. V will ask you for information that is in her notes, but you can't give him one of her notes. Oh no, else you'll be sacked like me. I've hidden her papers in the storage room and the computer room, which used to be her office, so you can get them without his knowing. It's complicated, but I'm sure you'll manage. Good luck, Betty. P.S. Dr. V also gets his knickers knot if you nip some of his good scotch. Just a word to devise. So I guess she who must not be named is Sally. Okay, we can't get in here, but I would like to see her old This office. doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. So we can't go through here, right? Lockdown. I would have loved to see Sally's old office. Maybe we can find it. Oh no. Nick. Who's saying that? Okay. I think this is our time to get off. Look around some more. Search desk. Who's shouting for Nick? Hmm, what's this? It's nothing that we can activate. What? Oh, this is where we need to go. Oh well. I think I'm going to need the gas mask again. Oh, that smells awful. This is where they flush the chemicals. Who is this one guy shouting all the time about Nick? go in there, right? I wonder, are, would we be able 
to go to Sally's Train? office. To where? The river. Oh well. I'll be way out. If to I'm all employees, yet again, I've Brain discovered employees flushing a bad batch of joy down the drain. It will make the fish happy is not an acceptable excuse. Often we can restore a batch of slightly defective joy by the addition of reagents. Waste not, want not, Alice. Dump cow, moo. Oh, we can take it. Can take it. No swimming. Defective joy. How many batches of slightly defective joy have gone out? Okay, so this looks like an elevator, right? Ah, here's the lever. Why are there pieces of paper or something floating in the air? Ah, uh, this is the way out. A hatch. Look at they fall in. Or were they pushed? Or were they flushed? Okay, is there something in here that's worth taking? Hmm, I don't know. Oh well, let's just take it with us and... I don't know. Why are there so many corpses lying here? Because they went... Oh, because they went swimming. Maybe that's why. There's the sign. Oh well, we did it. Okay. That was an adventure. Um, we made it out. So next will be to give the cod liver oil back to Sally find out what she has to say next but we are going to do this in the next episode thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time